Hi there, this story's title is The Girl Who Thought in Pictures The Story of Dr. Temple Grandin Written by Julia Finley Mosca Illustrated by Daniel Riley Don't forget to like, share and subscribe If you've ever felt different, if you've ever been low If you don't quite fit in, there's a name you should know Temple Grandin's that name in her tale you'll find glory so get ready get set for this cowgirl's true story in the city of boston one hot summer day a sweet baby was born it was temple hooray unique from the start an unusual girl she loved spinning in circles and watching things twirl but some things she hated like certain loud sounds or bright crowded places large cities and towns frilly dresses with tags made her itch pull and tug something else that she hated a big squeezy hug a shy loner this temple but when she got mad when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad quite a tantrum she would throw kick holler bang shriek yet still by age 3 not one word did she speak she'll never be normal was what some did say her brain's not quite right you must send her away away not my temple her mother proclaimed we will figure this out you should all be ashamed then little by little though sometimes she balked special teachers helped temple and one day she talked and that thing with her brain it was autism see she was different not less they all finally agreed like most kids her age she loved ice cream and art but the way temple thought that's what set her apart If something was mentioned for instance a fly in her mind she would see dozens of photos buzz by When the time came for school let's just say that was hard kids taunted and chased her all over the yard they picked on poor temple how crazy it drove her they teased her for saying things over and over and over and over and over until finally she snapped yes she did lost her cool threw a book at a kid and was kicked out of school no one really got temple but well then again the truth of it was temple didn't get them you need time away said her mom that what's best you'll go visit your aunt on a ranch way out west and guess what Fitting in on a farm was less stress since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in her herds such big gentle beasts who knew nothing of words as she watched her new friends a thought popped in her head these cows think like me in pictures instead at a new school that fall temple found more support and a teacher who taught her you'll never fall short when you find what you're good at like science you'll soar and that teacher was right and he opened a door so she built a machine like she'd seen on some farms an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms it worked she had done it from memory it's true and just like the cows it made temple come too I'm special like a bright shooting star she thought my attention to details could help me go far through her study she learned there were farms not so kind i will help them she said some solutions she would find and then something cool can you guess could it be off to college she went a degree She earned 3 and though ladies weren't experts on farms at that time do you think that stopped temple no way she did fine 
She stepped through that door and went forward. No tears. She took on the world, but at times she had fears because some things were scary, like people she would meet who would ignore her ideas and well, wouldn't be sweet. But she never gave up. Learned her stuff through and through, like why cattle will circle and what makes them moo. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings. She knew it. And slowly but surely she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs. Word spread about temple. Her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin? She's grand. She's the grandest of all. Now for these things and more, she had won honors and prizes and a movie was made. But the biggest surprise is that girl with a future that couldn't be bleaker. Yes, the once silent girl. She's now a big speaker. Today she spreads hope with her stories and speeches. From New York to Sydney to Rome, temple teachers. Each person is special, so unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. So here's the lesson. Feeling odd or offbeat? Being different might just be what makes you so neat. Don't let doubt hold you back. Not for one minute more. Stand tall and like temple, march right through that door. The end. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Heart Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.